Hello everybody, Dave Johnson from Media Relations Office here at UW Lacrosse with head wrestling coach Dave Malachek. We're going to preview the W or the, I'm sorry, the NCAA Division III Midwest Regional. That takes place this uh, Friday and Saturday. It's at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, coach 16 teams there. Yep. Uh, action gets started on uh, Saturday, Friday morning at 10 a.m. our time, Central Time, and then 9 a.m. on Saturday. Let's talk about the uh, meet, 16 teams there. I think four teams are ranked yep. in, in, of the region nationally, several individuals ranked as well, and you'll have 10 wrestlers there. Correct, we'll have one guy per weight class and uh, by far the toughest regional in the United States. And we've known that since last year, coming into it, what teams, who everybody had coming back. And every weight, there are nationally ranked guys uh, at every weight class except heavyweight. There's some guys that are pretty tough in that weight class also, but it's a barn burner. You gotta be ready to go two days in a row to get through that uh, national qualifier. And it's different, and it used to be a one day, Regional. Yep. Now, as we talked earlier in the week, they've kind of changed it to sort of follow the format of the Division Three Championships, which are Correct. in a couple weeks. Yeah, they're just trying to emulate the NCAA Championship, and then they made, uh, I shouldn't say they, NCAA made a rule if it's more than 16 or more teams, you had to make it a two-day event uh, to try not to cram it all into one day. And, and so we're heading out a day early, you know, on, on tomorrow, and then we're also all day Friday and Saturday, but yeah, it's a two-day event. And what kind of, uh, what does that do to the athletes? Kind of gets them ready for the nationals, but they're they're used to one day. Right, it, it does, Dave. It does it. And we've simulated it through practices. We've simulated in other tournaments throughout the year. I think it does give them a good taste for it. It really comes into our. Uh, it really benefits us and in our favor, just because our guys uh, watch their weight very well. They they take care of themselves. We actually wrestle a lot better that second day. It seems like so we got to really focus on the first day. And we're definitely a better second day team. So I'm excited for the two day event. Uh, like we said, 16 teams. There's yep. four teams ranked. Lacrosse is ranked number five right now. Whitewater number 10. Olivet of Michigan is number 11. And Wabash is number 24. So yep. you're going to see some great competition. Great competition. I think uh, the rankings are a little misleading at times too. Wabash, uh, the pre-seeds came out. I mean, they're going to have six to seven guys preceding the top uh, three, the top three going to the national tournament. So, and we only have uh, three guys. And so we really got to wrestle above our seats and wrestle a lot better. Let's talk about your guys who are ranked right now. Uh, let's yep. start with Dustin Wyman, ranked number one right now yep. at 141, won the conference title. He was the wrestler of the meet. Just talk about Dustin, how he's performed. He's really matured over the you know the four years, but I really think this year he's been more consistent. You know, we talk a lot about maturity, we talk about consistency, and he's really showed that this year, and actually he's gotten better. We talked about it last year. He's got the returning national champ in our qualifier. He's got five ranked guys in the nation in his weight class. He has by far the toughest weight. Uh, regionals and we want him in that weight class. Uh, he has done a lot better job of, of just being a leader of the team. And so I'm really excited to see him wrestle get some stiff competition on Friday and Saturday. Of course, his brother Ryan has yeah. had a great career. He's ranked eighth at 133 yeah. pounds. Another tough weight class and Ryan's been beat by the Whitewater kid three times with wrestling. We've only beat him once and uh, we got to keep getting better and Ryan's having a great season. We really look for him in that leadership role again heading into the uh, two more guys ranked. Yep. Mason Geary is seventh right now at 149, and then Richard Carlson third at 174. Yeah, this is Mason's first national uh, qualifier. You know, he's been injured, been uh, banged up a little bit, had a concussion last year, couldn't compete last year in the regionals. He's putting himself in position to punch his ticket to get to the national tournament. And senior Richard Carlson has done a great job. Was All American two years ago, was injured last year, and now is this the best he's looked and fell in his whole career? So perfect timing for that. Again, uh, the, the Division Three Midwest Regional is this Friday and Saturday or for Fort Wayne, Indiana. The top three place winners at each weight class will have 30 wrestlers. Yep. There are six regions. Yep. So the uh, let's talk about national, what's going on right now in terms of wrestling. Right, uh, national, all the different regionals, all the different hosts, everybody, the, most of the tournaments are happening in just a one day tournament, which would be Saturday. But ours is Friday, Saturday, and it's everybody culminating because they all want to punch their ticket and come to this great city of lacrosse, yes. guys. And let's yeah. talk, talk about the WIC first, because yeah. you're not all even at the same meet this we're, weekend. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Uh, there's certain schools, uh, Oshkosh and Platteville and MSOE and Meredith Baptist and Lakeland, all those schools go up to the Minnesota qualifier, and then Stevens Point, Whitewater, and us all head over way out to Indiana, a nine-hour drive over to Indiana. So there's a lot of discussion on trying to make those changes, and we can't worry about that now. But it, there is some controversy with it, but we're just going to put our nose down and get to work, and, and we got to get you guys through the national tournament. Again, the regional this weekend, you can go to muspartans.com. That's Mich uh, Manchester yeah. University. They're the host school in Fort Wayne. This, they're not in Fort Wayne, but they're hosting in Fort Wayne. There's live audio, video, and live scoring on that webpage. If you go to there, you can also follow muwlathletics.com. Again, 30 wrestlers will advance to the national championships, yeah. which again are uh, just almost two weeks away, March 10th and 11th at the Lacrosse Center here in Lacrosse. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Dave.